Hi guys and welcome back to Enigma 77 Reviews. It is cold in my studio. I am not handling the cold very well and I don't like being cold. So I've been filming all bloody day. And the reason why I'm filming like as many videos as I am this week is not because I'm going back in hospital, but half term's coming and Zach at home for a week is a nightmare. I would never get any filming done and it, it'd be constant like stopping, starting, stopping, starting. So I thought I'm going to get them all done and then I don't have to worry next week when I'm releasing videos. Now it is Zach's birthday on Tuesday. He's going away on Monday to Drayton Manor. I won't be going but I will be getting a few things ready. I do have um, a cookie, cooking, baking cupcakes and biscuits for his birthday based around Halloween so I do have that video coming up soon. I also uh, am going to do a vlog on his birthday of his reactions because as you know he's got his creatures and he has got lots of other things which is going to appear on my channel on Tuesday. It's going to be an all day special Zach's birthday so if you're not really into seeing kids toys don't bother watching guys um, but it will be based around Zach and his seventh birthday and some people were like why have you got that much trouble because he's autistic he's got special needs and he's got additional learning difficulties and for maybe four years of Zach's life he didn't he didn't really interact with birthdays or Christmas so we kind of got deprived um of that I'll be completely honest and now he's just so excitable about birthdays and Christmas that we make it really special for him anyway kill star this is my second pair of buys that I have got from Killstar and um, these were totally unexpected. This is a Christmas gift that I've had now and um, it doesn't really make any difference because I can't actually wear them at the minute. I don't know if I'll be able to wear them anytime soon but I may be able to, to have a night out at our local and sit down with them on because there's not a lot of walking involved. But these are Cemetery Lane Heels. They were £37.49, guys. They were bought on the 25% sale. God damn, my head is itchy. So they came in this very big box. And again, they've got this little label on, which is for freshness, so your shoes don't get mouldy. Uh, it says, please do not eat me. <laughs> I wasn't planning on doing. But again, the same kind of design box as the other one that I've got. And I absolutely love these. Now, I know that Mama Goff had these because... I was watching a few um, of the alternative um, YouTubers and their clothes that they got from Killstar because I just think it's really exciting and I like watching to see what everybody's got. And I noticed that she did a whole um, Rob Zombie um, delivery. Absolutely amazing. I absolutely love, I really do want the Rob Zombie dress that she's got. It's on my list to buy for Christmas. But she got these shoes and I just thought, wow. Now she tried them on the same as me with tights. I'm not too sure if these are the kind of shoes you'd wear with tights. Maybe the lighter shade of tights would look all right. But I'm not too sure if darker opaque tights go with this kind of shoe. And I'll probably explain why being the, the shoe connoisseur that I am. So these are the shoes. Now, my first reaction to these was, oh my God, I love them. They do have these amazing bat wings. Now you could actually bend them back. I mean, I personally um, would love to keep them out like that, but they do bend back into that shape. Um, they remind me of, is it Le Boute? That kind of designer make of shoe, which is red on the inside and black paint and a shiny on the outside, which are like hundreds and hundreds of pounds. These were £37.49p, guys. That was a bargain. And I think they're still at a reasonable price at the minute on Killstar because there is a Halloween sale on at the minute. If you haven't gone to take advantage of it, Go ahead and have a look if you're a Killstar fan. If you're not a Killstar fan, don't bother. So, um, yeah. So, these were a, a gift. Now, I did actually tell my husband I wanted a pair of these. I didn't ask for them. I just said I liked them. He knows that I'm big on shoes. I might not be able to wear half the shoes that I wear or that I have, but I like them. They're very pleasing to the eye. And I like these on my unit, which will be made next year. Well, no, my unit's being made next year for my, my schools, <coughs> but these will take place where my schools are at the minute. 
So what can I say about these? They are a PVC, lovely shiny. I've never really been a big fan of PVC, to be completely honest with you. I do have shoes that are PVC. Shoes are not so bad. I don't really mind so much shoes, but like, I can't imagine myself in a PVC dress. I think I've just got way too many lumps and bumps to pull that off. Um, but maybe when I lose my weight, maybe I can treat myself to a PVC dress on Killstar to match these beautiful eye candy shoes. So have I tried these on? Yes, I have. And they are extremely comfortable. Now, as you know, I do the squash test on all my shoes. I have a thing for instep and the instep on this is not too bad. I hate drastic instep shoes. When I bought my public desire haul, I didn't really like understand the fact that the instep on them was so crazy that they would absolutely cripple me. And I was gutted because I have kept a pair of them, one pair. I've, I've got rid of one's the giveaway and one I've got rid of, I sold, and I've kept one pair simply because they're mules and they're easy to get on and off and they're not too bad. But the other two were deadly for their instep. Instep on the kill start is pretty reasonable. I could walk around in these for a substantial amount of time. I don't think I could stand in them for a long period of time. That's the only problem. Uh, they are squishy, very, very squishy. Not as squishy as um, Skechers, I suppose. But like I said in my other Killstar review, you could put some insoles in there if you wanted to. I personally wouldn't want to because I think these have got enough cushion kind of feel in itself. I'm not too sure how the whole heely bit would be, but this is quite soft here, but not so much here. I tend to um, put some kind of jelly kind of heel thing in here to, to prevent that that whole rubbing on your heel thing, which I hate. But these do tie at the ankles, which I think is very appealing and very sexy if you're going to wear these bare-legged. Now, I would wear these without tights and um, I'd have to have a bit of false tan on because my legs are like milk bottles. And um, <coughs> the only problem with false tan when you've got tattoos is it kind of fades your tattoos out. So then you have to go with a cotton bud or go any tattoo. Don't ask, it's a nightmare. So these would look really, really pretty with something like a leather skirt or a PVC skirt or dress. Um, I personally wouldn't know what to wear with these. Um, I did try my Killstar dress on with these and they did look pretty fab. But I had tights on and I do like the dress with tights. I just don't think these go with tights. Um, maybe my leather trousers would look nice or maybe PVC trousers would look nice with these and a nice top. But either way, they are really comfortable shoes, guys. And for the money, they are worth it. They are really worth it. The whole bat wing design, for me, wins it in itself. I mean, without that, they're just a basic PVC shoe. And they look pretty much the same as all the shoes that I've got in my collection that are PVC. But the fact that they have this wing design, I'm just a bit gutted that they don't just like stay like that because I just think that's immense. There must be a way of getting it to do that, but I don't want to keep doing it because I don't want to wreck them. Now, I have inspected these shoes because I inspect my shoes. And I will say that you can see a little bit of the glue where the um, bottom of the sole is connected to the actual shoe, like the, the wedge part, platform part. Think your words, Rachel. The platform part does look, and it ha there is slight scratches to the front, but only slight. I'm not picky, guys, when it comes to shoes, but because I've seen so much negativity on Killstar shoes and footwear, I'm just checking out before anything does happen. And I am checking like the heel area. And guys, I haven't actually worn these out. I've worn them once in the bedroom. That has got a little bit of scuffs on, but nothing major. Now, if I look at the other shoe, and I've inspected that as well. And again, they just look a little bit like somebody's had them on. Now here, um, worries me a little bit. So at this, this part of the shoe here, you can see where the glue, you can take a closer look, you can just see where the glue is kind of coming apart a little bit. Now I will keep an eye on that and just check. But um, I mean, I've squeezed it in and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. But you can see like the glue in the seam of the shoe. So we'll see, but I'm not fussy like that, guys. I'm not just gonna pick on faults with the shoe, but I do, actually love these shoes they are very very pleasing to the eye and for the money they're worth it i will try these on at the end guys tell me what you think um 
I've got white legs and I've got stockings on, so I will have to take my stockings off because <laughs> otherwise I look an absolute hillbilly. My lips, it's coming off as well. But um, that's them, guys. I'll put the link on below. Go and check them out. Um, I think they were worth the money and I think you might even get them cheaper now. So that is the Killstar Cemetery Lane heels, guys. Tell me if you've got some. Have yours lasted? Have they done the test? Have they passed the test? Have you worn them? What did you wear them with? <laughs> Pop your comments on below. All right, guys, take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.